think because he has uh, always fall sick, like cough and uh, flu, even starting from as a baby. So we thought that, that maybe to pick up a sport to strengthen his uh, physique. So when I was around four years old, I think like my mom just carried me on the table and started holding my hand to hit the ball. Uh, he was very natural. The mom would hold his hand, and then, uh, but he can actually uh, catch the rhythm. My parents were both uh, former players themselves, I think, in the national team. So naturally, I think I got the genes, I think, from them, as well as like, the passion. I think it is not easy for, for him to grow up uh, this way. When he was uh, deciding whether he wants to uh, spend more time in table tennis uh, than study, the mom was actually reluctant to, to uh, do that because uh, being a professional player before, she knows that this path is very difficult and lonely if you aspire to be the, to be the uh, world-class uh, standard. Okay, thank you. Uh, to me, I think they are very understanding as well as very supportive. And uh, even when I'm feeling down or I'm not doing well, I think they will encourage me. And like, I think they always have faith in me. So I'm really thankful for them. He has uh, uh, been a very good boy. Uh, now becoming a on becoming a man, a boy to man. He went to today, I am very proud of him. Because when I was in China, although my standard is in a very high level, but in China, the competition is very strong. I didn't have to go to the highest level, so I think he was in a very high level. I think he was in a very high level. So I think he was in a very high level. 很很开心。Over here is the zone, zone training center. So these are where young kids who just started playing. This is their first step towards you know, a long path from their table tennis careers. Yeah. So basically, I started over here when I was five, and this way all begins. Yeah. How old are you? Me? Uh, 20. Yes, yeah. Old man already. And then how long you play? I played since I was 5, so, ah, so 15, 15 years already. Before you were born. How long more do you want to play? I don't know. I'm playing for, forever. Forever? Okay. okay, that's good. Uh, this is actually the YDS, which also stands for Youth Development Squad. So like uh, after the we finish at the zone, like we will have a selection trial. So those who are better skilled and have you know, want to continue playing, like, they'll be promoted to the Youth Development Squad. This was basically where I was training at, from like primary 2 onwards, all the way to primary 6. Last time, I think there's only at most 10 of us, I think. So compared to now, there's a lot more people picking up there than it. So like, it's a really nice thing to see happening in Singapore. Last year, I was more and more and more. So yeah, I was always on the stage, I was more quiet. I picked up table tennis because I saw um, national players like Feng Tianwei and like Clarence Chu winning a lot of medals for Singapore and the game looked quite fun so I decided that I wanted to play table tennis. Hopefully I can become as good as them so that I can also can win medals for Singapore and make Singapore proud. He's very annoying. I always tease him that he has a girlfriend. <laughs> His wallpaper is Korean girl. Or is it Japanese? Kambutong. He takes very awkward selfies. La. Yes! Every time um, my, my sister always tell my mom, mommy and daddy say that my classmate want to be like a call wife or something like that. <laughs> my friends always say, your girl girl very, very shy. <laughs> Very mature like that, yeah. I want to be like him and then I went into Singapore Sports School then uh, represent Singapore for competitions when I grow up, make Singapore proud. The oldest, 
and senior players. Every day I'm learning new things from them. Gao Ning and Yang Zi, these are two senior players where I travel up with combination more frequently with. Especially during team competitions, they really calm me down and give me good advice. Uh, they've been playing for so many years but they still maintain that kind of uh, hard work. I think they are really uh, focused during training and they really give it their all. So I think that's something I can look up and learn. And they really take care of me, so I'm really grateful. As I grow up, there are more uh, overseas competition and training. So, yeah, like sometimes um, I felt very tough, especially from the age, you no? Know? At uh, such a young age, you have to leave the country frequently. Yeah, but I slowly learned to adapt. I think it helped me become more independent and learn to think better. So, I think that really helped me a lot. Mom's hope for him. <laughs> I hope he can also write new history in uh, Singapore table tennis uh, by being the first uh, male player that can win uh, multiple medals in uh, major games. If someday I'll get to participate in the Olympics, I think that's my ultimate goal. Match point for two. And he does it! The biggest upset of his career. Chu from Singapore takes down the top seed from Sweden.